Hello, welcome to our channel Elimika Mtandaoni. My name is Agustino Mogosi. Today we are starting a series of videos on electronic and mobile commerce. So, we will have a number of lectures on electronic and mobile commerce. So, before we start uh, explaining about electronic commerce, let us first understand by the word commerce. When we say commerce, what uh, does it mean? Actually, commerce uh, refers to exchange of goods and services or something of value between businesses and entities. So you have, let's say, uh, this is a business and this is another uh, business. So this exchange, uh, we are exchanging something of value, then we call this is uh, commerce. So it is the sum of uh, purchases and sell of goods and services by organizations. For example, I give you a television and you give me money. So uh, this is a good that I'm selling to you and you are giving me money. We are doing an exchange. So we are exchanging our goods uh, and services uh, or something of value between uh, these businesses and the uh, entities. So that is the meaning of uh, commerce. Uh, so if we omit the word commerce, uh, we, electronic, we, we talk about the word commerce by itself. Commerce means exchange. You give, then I, you, I give. That is called exchange. Exchange of goods, exchange of services, or something of value between uh, these businesses or entities. So the idea, uh, the idea of commerce has expanded to include uh, electronic commerce on the 21st century. So on the 21st century, as the internet uh, grew up, there is where uh, electronic commerce came into uh, use. So what is electronic commerce? Electronic commerce refers to the use of internet and other networks. Other networks are what we can talk about intranets and extranets. So the use of internet and other networks to purchase, to sell, to transport, or trade data, goods, or services. That is what we call electronic commerce. So, for example, if uh, somebody is here, let's say uh, there is a company called the a fashion, uh, fashion swings, sport, uh, is somewhere there at, let's say, Arusha or Dodoma. So you are here in Bear and you want to buy some clothes from this company called the Fashion Swing Spot. So what you can do, you can send Fashion Swings a spot, you can send money uh, via, let's say, M-Pesa. So if you send money, that means you are making payments using internet, using networks. You are not giving a physical money. You are using internet or you are using uh, mobile um, networks. So you send money, then this fashion swing company takes the clothes, uh, packages them, then send to you via, let's say, a bus, via a bus. So this kind of exchange, simply because there is a use of electronic means here, then this will be called the electronic commerce. So it refers uh, to the use of internet and other uh, networks. So it depends on whether you are making payments using internet or you are making orders. You are making orders via internet or other networks. Then you are doing what we call uh, electronic commerce. So Unlike traditional commerce uh, that occurs between two agents, uh, electronic commerce allows uh, individual consumers to exchange value of goods and services with little or no barriers. So I can order uh, a book from America. 
I can order a book from Bear. It no matter there is a very long distance or whatever, but I can do any kind of transaction uh, without any barriers, There's a barriers of time, barriers of distance, any kind of barriers. So electronic commerce has removed these uh, barriers. With the rise of internet, electronic commerce, um, these small businesses owners like fashion swings have a chance to market to international customers and fulfill international orders. So uh, they have a chance to market to some international uh, orders. Some companies of all shapes and sizes can engage in international commerce. Uh, the import or export merchants now um, can purchase goods directly from a domestic or foreign manufacturer and then they package the goods and resell them in their own as an individual entity assuming the risks but taking higher uh, profits so electronic commerce uh, we can define it just with the introduction of internet to facilitate uh, the buying and selling of goods and services or data electronic commerce is often confused with uh, uh, what we call e business electronic commerce is somewhat confused with what we call electronic uh, business but electronic business actually uh, refers to a broader definition of electronic commerce not just the buying and selling of goods and services but uh, even conducting all kinds of businesses online so the facilitation of conduction of um, uh, services such as saving customers servicing customers or collaborating with the business partners with the help of internet uh, delivering of e-learning and uh, conducting electronic transactions within organizations that is what uh, makes what we call electronic business so electronic business goes beyond buying and uh, buying and selling so uh, now let us talk about some electronic uh, commerce concepts let's talk about some electronic uh, commerce concepts electronic commerce concepts and we'll start with uh, the concept of uh, pure versus partial electronic commerce there are several concepts of um, electronic commerce uh, including electronic organization etc let's start with uh, pure versus partial electronic commerce actually electronic commerce can be either pure or partial it depends on the nature of its major activities there are three important activities while you are doing commerce uh, as you go to a certain organization you can make your order uh, you can make your order and purchase you can make your order and purchase so one among the activities is ordering so if you make order and you make payment that is one activity in conducting electronic commerce another one is order fulfillment that means uh, the buyer has received your order and starts uh, processing your order so that he, he delivers to you and the last activity is, is delivering that order to a customer so each of these activities can be done either physically or digitally so you can order and make payment either physically physical that means you go to an organization and give money take your order or you can order just online using internet also the same with the payment so can be done either digitally or physical but you have to note one thing if there is at least one digital um, dimension that has been used among these activities then we consider such a situation as an electronic commerce but only we call it a partial electronic commerce for example think of this um, we have talked about fashion swings spot as an organization there in the dome it sells clothes fashion swings uh, spot it sells clothes these clothes are physical things so i am here in bear 
then I want these fashion swings to sell me clothes. So I will make order. I will make order online. Let's say I'm using a uh, WhatsApp. I'm using WhatsApp or I go to the uh, Instagram page. Then I make order. Hello, Fashion Swings uh, organization. I need two t-shirts or a um, nightwear. Then Fashion Swings tells me to make payment. Then I use again internet. Let's say I use what we call PayPal or I use M-Pesa or I use Tigo Pesa or I use Airtel Money. I send money to Fashion Swings. Then Fashion Swings delivers the clothes to me. Then there we have done what we call electronic commerce. But that kind of electronic commerce will be called the partial electronic commerce. Why it is called the partial electronic commerce? It is partial electronic commerce because the merchandise, that means that clothes, is not a digital thing. It is physical. So the delivery will be physical delivery. Although the ordering and payment has been done via internet. So these activities of ordering and payments, order fulfillment and delivery to customer, if it is done uh, via internet, if at least one among these uses a digital dimension, then we consider such a situation as an electronic commerce, but it will be called a partial electronic commerce. So if we want to have we, we want to have a pure electronic commerce, then the ordering and payments, the order fulfillments and delivery to customers should be done uh, uh, digitally. For example, uh, for example, if you want to buy an electronic book, an ebook, let's say from Amazon, then you will make ordering and payment via internet. Then the order fulfillment will also be done online and the delivery will also be done digitally because the book is a soft copy. Or for example, if you want to buy a software, you want to buy a software from Microsoft, then uh, this software can be delivered to you via internet. So such kind of electronic commerce whereby the ordering and payments, the order fulfillment and the delivery of um, goods to customers is done digitally. That kind of electronic commerce is called the pure electronic commerce. Now let us move to another uh, e-commerce concept that is called the electronic commerce organization. We have three important organizations in doing commerce. The first organization is what we call brick and mortar organization brick and mortar organization that means they are all uh, physical that means a very pure physical organization that means uh, the products uh, the goods are physical the payment is physical the delivery is uh, that means you have to go there and take your uh, product that means uh, such organizations we call them brick and mortar or all the economy organizations. They are called all the economy organization. In this world today, if you have this kind of business, then please, you have to transform your business into at least a click and mortar or virtual organization. But what is virtual organization? Virtual organization is an organization where um, it engages only in electronic commerce. That means... Uh, everything uses electronic commerce. That means it has a physical, it has digital uh, products or digital services. A payment is done digitally and um, delivery is also done uh, digitally. Such organizations are called the um, digital organizations. They are also called the pure play. They are called the pure uh, play organizations. Another type of e-commerce organization is called the click and motor. Click and motor organizations are those that conduct some electronic activities 
usually as an additional marketing channel like uh, the company like um, uh, fashion swing fashion swing is one among the click and motor organizations that means um, they consider an electronic commerce uh, as an additional marketing channel that means uh, promotions uses uh, electronic commerce mechanisms uh, advertisements uh, they can go even to payments uh, payments etc so it uses uh, e-commerce as an additional uh, additional marketing channel but gradually many of these brick and mortar uh, companies brick and mortar companies the old economy companies are changing to click and mortar uh, companies there are some organizations that had physical stores but now uh, they use some uh, whatsapp status they use instagram accounts they use twitter accounts facebook accounts to promote their businesses to take orders to make fulfillment of orders that means uh, these brick and mortar companies are now transforming to um, uh, uh, click and mortar and some they transform to virtual organizations depending on the uh, the products now we have another concept in electronic commerce that is called the a uh, cyberspace actually what is a cyberspace speaking of cyberspace is a non-physical environment where electronic commerce is conducted by using computers and networks so if we have a kind of electronic environment where a buyer can go there and see some products and and put his or her products then here comes a seller here comes uh, here is a seller that has his products in here then a buyer sees that there is this product and makes order and makes payment to a seller via the internet so this is space here where um, a commerce can be conducted we call it a cyber a cyber space and actually it is facilitated by some uh, the use of websites so it's the use of websites we have that um, there are some mechanisms uh, as I have talked about uh, there are some mechanisms some of these mechanisms are uh, that are used the uh, as electronic commerce uh, to conduct electronic commerce uh, they are the cyber spaces we have mechanisms like the web uh, we have mechanisms like electronic markets we have some social networks we have some communication tools all these they provide some electronic environment where electronic commerce can be uh, conducted electronic commerce can be uh, conducted now uh, thank you very much for following Elimika Mtandaoni this is just an introduction uh, video on electronic and mobile commerce in the next uh, videos we'll be talking about mobile commerce so that now you can be able to distinguish between electronic commerce and mobile commerce thank you for following Eremi Kamtandaon don't forget to subscribe my name is Agustino Mogos